How's it going everybody? This is Andy here with Ultima Device Vids, and today we're taking a look at five powerful Cydia tweaks that have been released recently. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So first up, we have Tiny Player Light. This is a mini player inspired music player for iOS. So essentially, as you can see here, you basically just have this little interface that tells you the music that you're currently listening to, the album artwork, the song name, the artist name, and if you tap and hold on the little playback section there, you get some you know, skip controls, uh, play pause, etc. And there's a bunch of other things, you know, a bunch of other features as well. For example, if you tap and hold on the main interface, as you can see there, it will change from a day mode to a night mode or vice versa. So you could get some, again, controls that pertain to your current environment. If you double tap, as you can see, it's going to skip a song forward. And if you triple tap, it's going to go a song backwards. So just some cool options there. Now you could also set an activator action in the settings to basically perform that action in the tweak wheel. As you can see there, hide or appear. And again, this is all configurable through the settings. So just open up settings on your device and open up tiny player lights and you will basically have all the options in here. So up at the top, you have the ability to enable or disable the tweak. Beneath that, you have the activator action. Once again, I used a triple press of the home button, but again, you have the entire activator tweak at your disposal in terms of the action. And next up, of course, you have the save changes and respring button. You could just do that after you, you know, set it up the way you want it to. So it's really nice to have this kind of tweak back on iOS because Mini Player, which is another city tweak from a separate developer and a separate designer, has yet to be updated for iOS 9. And this tweak provides that same kind of functionality to iOS 9. Now, once again, this is available for free, and this is the light version. There is a pro version coming soon, which hopefully should provide some new features. But to be honest, I'm perfectly satisfied with the tweak as it is. So next up, we have Phenomenon. And this one's available for $2.99. And this is basically a tweak that redesigns the multitasking interface. Of course, you could access this just by double pressing the home button as you normally would, or you could 3D touch on the left side of the screen if you have an iPhone 6S or 6S Plus. As you can see, it's completely different. On the left side, we have all of our open applications and it displays in a new vertical view, which is pretty cool. You can, of course, launch applications just like that. And you can also kill applications by swiping to the left. So that's a new gesture as well, as you can see right there. And of course, as you can see on the right side, we have the home screen preview just for aesthetics. And if you slide down, you have the control center tucked away in this cool little corner. Of course, you could scroll for the toggles just like that. And it's just very well designed. Again, it also displays, of course, your control center and your apps, which are all in one view, which is a very useful feature. And if Apple were to redesign the multi tasking interface, I could see them doing something like this. It's just incredibly useful. So if you open up the preferences panel for phenomenon, you have a couple options to configure. So up at the top, you have enable 3D switcher. If you disable this, and of course, 3D touch on the left side of the screen, nothing is going to happen just like that. And as you can see, if I enable it, we are able to access it with the 3D touch on the left side. You have enable main switcher. It basically, if you disable this and you double press the home button, as you can see here, it's just going to take you to your default app switcher. But if you have enable 3D switcher enabled and you have a success, of course, you could still access this tweak like that. Uh, and then beneath that, we have evoke action, which essentially pertains to activator. Now, I'm not sure why you would use that because, again, this tweak does replace the default active, you know, multitasking gesture, but it's there for whatever reason if you want it. Then you have use small CC. And if you disable this, basically, it will make the control center take up the entire bottom of the screen as opposed to being tucked away in that corner, as you can see right there. I personally like it how it's tucked away, so I'm going to go ahead and keep use small CC on. Then you have vibrate 3D switcher and vibrate main switcher because this tweak does give your a little bit of a vibration when you you know do either of those things so of course you can configure that to your liking there's also a guide down below at the bottom that'll teach you a little bit about the tweak then you have some credits as well and once again i just want to reiterate this is an incredibly powerful tweak and i think it's fair to say that this is one of the best tweaks that i've seen released in the past few months for sure so definitely go check this one out once again it's called phenomenon you could get it for two dollars and 99 cents so next up we have swipey folders this one's available for free and it allows you to do various useful things with your folder so you can see right there, my extras folder does look a little bit different. As you can see, the first app in the folder is actually showing up within the folder icon there. So it's a little bit of a different look. And if I tap on it, it's just going to go straight to the first app within the folder. Now, if I 3D touch on it, it's going to actually open the folder, as you can see right there like that. And if I swipe up, you're going to notice that it's going to open up the second app in the folder, which is stocks. So this tweak allows you to perform actions on your folders to essentially do different things with the folder. So it basically supercharges your iOS folders experience. So you configure the tweak, jump into settings on your device and open up swipey folders. And of course, you can enable or disable the tweak. And then you have that use first icon as folder preview if you want to do that. And then we have the functionality down here. So basically, we could assign certain things to happen when we perform any of these options. So we have single tap, swipe up, double tap, short hold and 3D touch. 
And if you tap on any of these gestures, you have the same list of actions. You have open folder, open first app, open second app, and do nothing. And again, I have everything configured to the, basically the way that I want it to, but it's completely up to you. And it's a really useful tweak. And it's available for free, so definitely go check this out. This is a steal if you ask me. It's an incredibly useful tweak that's available for free. So next up, we have bounce effects. And you may have already noticed this on my device. As you can see there, when I close applications, open applications, and unlock my device, I have this cool bouncing effect, as you can see there. So there's the unlock animation just like that. So that's essentially what this tweak does. Basically just spices up your iOS animations experience. If you open up the bounce effects preferences panel, you have various toggle switches that pertain to the way the bounce will look and a respring option to apply the changes. This is a really cool tweak just to show off to people what a jailbreak can do and how it can change the way your device looks. Now, I don't think this is going to be something that I'm going to be keeping on my phone long term just because it does slow down the animation speed and you have to wait a fraction of a second to start performing action actions with your device, but it's a super awesome tweak to show to people what a jailbreak can do, and who knows, maybe you'll prefer to keep this on your device. And once again, it's available for free. So our fifth and final tweak is now playing SB. Basically, when you're playing music on your device, it's going to display the song name and the artist name in the status bar, and it's going to rotate uh, between the song name, the um, artist name, and of course the time, which is normally there. As you can see there at the top of my status bar, it's rotating those things. And even when I open up applications on my device, as you can see, it's just going to continuously rotate those things. This just provides you with some extra context as to what you're listening to. So it's available for free. Definitely check it out. And yeah, it does exactly what it says. And that pretty much wraps up this video. So if you guys did enjoy these tweaks, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos on City of Tweaks, Jailbreak content, and some iOS content as well. Let me know down below in the comment section which one of these tweaks you like and just let me know your thoughts. I'm always interested to hear what you guys have to say. Also, make sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like it on Facebook, and also make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll put all those links down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.